What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to another video by me, Dina. No GK Pop since 1998. Debbie. Oh my gosh, has it been an exciting time for Blinks or what? As y'all can see with the title of this video, I'll be reacting to not one, not two, but three Blackpink things. AKA Lisa's Moonlit Floor, Jenny's Mantra or Mantra. Sometimes I kind of like go between uh, both pronunciations. And now Rosé with Bruno Mars, APT dot. That kind of makes me want to say apartment, but maybe I'll figure it out whenever I get to it. And I know that our girl Jisoo has, from my understanding, has teased that she has new music coming through. So yeah, it's been an exciting ass time for a Blink, especially this OG Blink, OG YG stand as well. Um, who's been here with Blackpink since the beginning. So we got our girls all grown and shit as we have been seeing lately. So um, the reason, I don't know if y'all have uh, been paying attention to my social medias or my uh, recent community posts, but the reason why I'm late to Moonlit Floor and Mantra is because of not only coming back from Vegas newly engaged, um, but right when we came back, we unfortunately saw that our dog just wasn't herself. And whenever my dog is sick or just not herself, she's my first priority. I cannot even try to film a reaction because y'all just see all over my face that my mind is elsewhere. And she unfortunately, um, she is getting older, like not old, but she is nine right now as I'm filming. And she is a Maltese breed, Malshi, um, so Maltese and Shih Tzu. So I think it's common for Maltese, the Maltese breed to have hip issues and she was experiencing a flare-up of a, a herniated disc. So yeah, my little baby girl was in pain. But luckily now, after about 10 days of medication, her inflammation has gone down. She doesn't feel pain. She's good. So me and Chris are good. So I'm here to get caught up and to just feel so satiated as a blink. So um, we're going to go in chronological order by the release. So first, we're going to be checking out Lisa's Moonlit Floor. So... From my understanding, and I did see a little bit of reels that she posted prior to the release, it's going to be a cover of Kiss Me. And that's a very like Y2K song or late 90s movies type song. And it's just one of those cute romantic songs. So I would, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to hear Lisa's spin of it to title it Moonlit Floor. And then we're going to go right into Jenny Mantra. Like that together I feel like she's just gonna I feel like she's gonna annihilate me I feel like she and she wants to like her intention is to annihilate us there's that I've seen photos I haven't heard anything just photos and she looks hot as usual and as I'm filming right now Rose's uh, with Bruno Mars apt dot slash apartment I'm, I just keep wanting to say that freshly just got released so yeah I stayed up to to do this so, um, and at first I almost was like, should I wait until Jisoo so it can be like full? But no, that would make me wait too long. Jisoo would get her own special video. So, um, yeah, let's get this little mini, uh, blink marathon started. First with Lisa's Moonlit Floor. Lisa's hips are hippin'. French boy. She's feeling herself. She is so like. This so like um. The way she's saying the moon. And these shoes. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. She's so charming. Like, like extra. Like she's glowing. How 
Are you trying to do all those tricks? Ooh, that music change up there. Oh, she looks so gorgeous. Oh, I, I seriously love the way she sings in Moonlit four parts. Okay, French boys got me tripping, and we're hearing that ooh la la la. She sounds so enchanting. Oh, she's so oh, smiles. So kiss me. Okay, I love how like groovy and jazzy this mix is. And it had like her own like the La Lisa flair in the middle with the way she changed it up. The way she sounds, she sounds so angelic, so soft. Like she makes me think of her, uh, this is making me think of her Christmas cover, you know, the Britney Spears Christmas uh, cover. She's like going into like the soft version of her, the like crushed version is definitely giving me romance movie. There's something extra, like no pun intended because there's a lot of lights in here, right? In the video, but there's something extra glowy by her. Like she's really selling this kind of like, I'm in love perspective. Are the lyrics in here? Let me try and just check. Hold on. Come on, hurry up, where's my... Okay, no, it's auto-generated. So most of the time that, that means it's not right. Do I wanna, do I wanna, Okay, no, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. This is already a black pink uh marathon. So I might as well look at the official lyrics video, right? Because I heard lyrics here and there by French boy, something by how you do it, the tongue. So I wanna like know all of it instead of sitting here and assuming. So uh let's go ahead and check out the lyrics video, y'all. I'm gonna do that first before we get to mantra and apt dot. So um all right, let me uh find a lyrics video and here we go. Plus, I just get to jam to it again. I do really love this like nighttime groove. La la la, Lisa. It's so like in love perspective. When your eyes cross my body, okay. Green eyed French boy got me tripping. Accent off your lips. Okay, okay. Okay, that makes sense. The accent, the tongue thing. I really love the way she sings that part. Okay, okay. Hey. Cute. Ah, that was cute. Adding this whole French element makes sense with the chorus and everything. Oh, I heard the uh, mwah mwah, the kiss. It's such... Seriously, it's such a crush perspective. Dancy, jazzy kind of feel. I love mixing in the ooh la 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 back here. Kiss me under the Paris twilight. She, seriously, she sounds so sweet. Out on the moonlit floor, kiss me under the Paris ooh, twilight. Music was kind of trippy. So kiss me. Oh. 
so sweet. That's like that and it being groovy and shit. And of course, now with the lyrics making sense. And I love all like just the this La Lisa sass in the second chorus. Like I heard it like audibly, but like seeing the lyrics with it, definitely very La Lisa is. I'm here to get my bag. I'm not trying to play around. It's very I'm in love perspective. It's like, girl, did you make this song because you know how I would feel or how I've been feeling about you, Lisa? She, seriously, she looked just so like, I mean, she always looks pretty. She always looks gorgeous, but there's just something extra glowy about her. She was selling that smile, that smile of love. All right. Okay. Um, I already knew it was going to be a nice, strong start considering we're starting with Lisa and y'all know that Lisa is my bias of Blackpink. But now we are about to go into, uh, not, and then just not taking away from the rest of the members, right? But we're going into that fiery part of Blackpink. Why did I do that? Fiery part of Blackpink with Ginny's mantra, mantra. Again, I will say it back and forth. So I have no idea where we're going here. I just feel like it's going to be fierce. So um, let me go right into it, y'all. Ginny's mantra. Oh my god! Pretty, pretty, pretty. This that pretty girl mantra. This that flaunch. You just touched on an hour. Pretty girls don't do drama. Let's be one. What? It'll be depending on a day. What? Pretty girls stick in a defender. No, I'm a defender. Never let it catch no strength. This that pretty girl mantra. She's that stun. I'll make you want to swing both ways. Mix me with the drama. How dare she call me out? My clothes are pajamas. True from the cold plunge. I feel like I'm melting, y'all. I like this. I like this so much. The lyrics. She looks so hot. Hey, the choreography with the musicality. Ooh, the booty. Ooh, the sound here. How dare she call me out? This outfit on her. Whoa, whoa, she. <laughs> oh my god I'm sweating why am I wearing a cardigan She's laughing because I'm a mess. Hey, hey. Why is everything the perfect screenshot? Oh my gosh. A lot of booty. A lot of... No, before I even pretend that I'm ready for Rosé and Bruno Mars... Okay, uh, so uh, is Ginny's video also auto-generated? Let me see. Hold on, pause. I love the beginning of the Rush Hour 2, um, not 2, Rush Hour 1. Uh, call back there with the, okay, it is auto-generated. So y'all know what that means. Your girl here is going to be looking up a lyrics video. Uh, as, as much as I want to watch the video again twice, maybe I'll just, you know, be self selfish and watch that on my own. But I do want to check out the lyrics and it's full so um <laughs> i don't know why i'm scratching my head da, 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 da. it's jenny is turning up the sexy she's very sexy in this video there's some something very confident that's oozing at her and these looks it's like girl are are you are you singing are you dancing or are you modeling or are you all it's, it's all Okay, 
Before I say more, let's go ahead and check out the lyrics video for Mantra. Mantra, okay. Mantra, that's how she says it, so stick to that, Dina. Okay, here we go, y'all. Lyrics video of Mantra. Pretty, 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 pretty. This that pretty girl Mantra, this that flaunter, just touch This that flaunter. Pretty girls don't do drama unless we want This is such a badass hot girl song. Wait. Pretty girls packed in a defender. No, I'm a defender. Never let it catch on. Girls go. Girls go. When she said, I was like, Jenny, um, do you know that I like kind of stare at your photos a little too long? Okay. Hey, Thanks for calling me out. Check you like hummus. Like check you like commas I, I just that took me forever because you know when you write a check the more commas you make the more rich you are so check you like commas okay I love that rhythm it's like the switch from the whole and then she goes into that rhythm. Twenty minutes late. Why twenty minutes? We'll be doing in and out drive by. Is it because it takes twenty minutes to get your order at an in and out drive through? I wouldn't know. I'm from Texas. I know that there's some in and outs here, but uh, I haven't been at enough. I don't know. This is like LA term or, you know, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But that's interesting. That's a long ass time. I love how I was like trying to analyze the whole in and out thing. And then the next line is, it's not that deep. It's not, not that drunk. I love that. Yeah, sometimes. I Okay, I need this on a shirt. With Jenny's face plastered because so I try my best to not focus on like K-pop toxic Twitter, right? But sometimes they're like cockroaches they're everywhere. You can't ignore them. So I see a lot of people like say what they want to say about our girl. But that that's why I'm saying I need Jenny's face plastered on a T with this part. Cause it's like, y'all just stop with this and just live your life. Let let us all live our lives. Look at them bonnies on the run. This is making me doing it like ugly swing here. Hey. Ooh, seriously, this part of the instrumental. Catchy. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. This is such a girl's girl song. Ooh, the vocals in the background layer. This is such a catchy ass song. It's just badass. Yep, stay unbothered. <laughs> she she has like such a cute laugh, but we know that she her laugh sounds more crazier than that. Us blinks who watch her, their shit. Seriously, this instrumental. Pretty. Savage. I, I just had to say that. Blackpink, when it, they start with saying pretty, I just need to say savage. And that was savage. I like how we went from, I'm in love, you know, everything's all angelic and sweet with Lisa all of a sudden, boom, we're in like badass hour, girls, girl type thing with Jenny, with all those looks that she was serving. And now we're going to go right into Rosé and Bruno Mars. So I'm a huge fan of Bruno Mars. I don't do like, uh, I guess, American music reactions here. Um, 
just because my channel is OG K-pop stan, so I try to stick it to a niche. But with that being said, I am a huge Bruno Mars fan, and um, all of from from my understanding, from everything that I've um, heard as far as Bruno Mars and his collabs, they're always a hit. And with that being said, and this being Rose from Blackpink, I feel like I'm gonna love this. So um, let's get it, y'all. Last but not least. Rosé with Bruno Mars, APT dot, or apartment. I will figure that out. Here we go. Wait, wait. Was that the beginning? Guys, I'm sorry. I had to restart because this was a really a lot to take in at once. We're we're getting like we're getting rose, like Avril Lavigne rose feels. Okay, this it's just a game that she's she's handing. Cute. Okay, every time I hear this song, I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna have a swole ass neck. Hey, she's so So meet me at the apartment, right? Oh, this is so fun. I'm sweating. Hey! How addicting is this song, y'all? Come meet me at the opposite. Cute. Ooh, this, this attitude. Girl, I think you already got me. Oh my gosh. Hey. What? Yes. This harmony with the synchronized strumming, the head banging. Oh gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh, this little heel toe, heel toe moment. Guys, this was overwhelmingly awesome. What a hit! Do I want to? Do I even want to choose a favorite song of the three that I just checked out? Because they're all so wonderfully different. But I have to say, I put to, <laughs> That's the way they're saying it, right? It's really sticking to me. I'm telling you, I'm gonna have a swole ass neck by the end of the second watch. Okay, oh, wait, is there lyrics? Auto generate! Because sometimes auto generate be given like the worst <laughs> lyrics ever. Yeah, um. Since I did it for Moonlit Floor and Mantra, 
I'm just going to check out a lyrics for it, video. But I do want to say I love Rosé and Bruno Mars together. Their energy, they're just fuck it all, let's have it, let's have fun type of thing. And them just dancing. And I love how when Bruno would have his part and she would be on the drums and everything, everything about this video was so unserious. And when I say unserious in this term, I mean it in a good way. Because sometimes people use it in a way to be like, oh, they're not professional at all. Or they're not like whatever. Like I'm when I say unserious, I'm saying about like them just really focusing on making great music that they enjoy. This song is so addicting. Okay, okay. Before I break my neck, let's go ahead and check out a lyrics video. I, it just came out, actually. I did that. That just hit me. That it just came out. So I'm wondering if there even is a lyrics video out. So let's check first. There is. Okay. Wow. Y'all are fast. So um, let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Last but not least, I know this has been like a, actually it's not too long of a reaction so far. I think, but um, yeah. Last but not least, lyrics video of. Here we go. Okay, Joanne game. Okay. game game. Okay, there has to be something there. Maybe y'all can help me in the comments with that. But okay, but that was really cute. The little giggling. Apatu. <laughs> There must be double meaning behind this. Cause meet me at the, cause I was saying apartment, but I'm, they're saying it up to, okay. You know what? Uh, Google, can you be my friend right now? Let's see. Uh, usually I try to, okay. I hope y'all don't mind me. Um, no, I'm not trying to look for a freaking Rose apartment. Let me see. Okay. Oh, it's a Korean game. What does up? Okay. Drinking. Oh, it's a Korean. It's her favorite drinking game. Korean drinking game called Apartment. Ah, uh, this makes. I they recently posted and I saw that they comment on each other and something about like I know you want to kiss me and talk about drinking game. I was like, I feel like they're playing on with lyrics here. Okay, that's coming back to me now. All coming back to me. Okay, that. Okay, Apatu. That, that I'm sure. I'm assuming that that's the uh, the word for apartment in Korean. So that makes sense. All right, all right. Let's let's continue. Okay. Like you can't not do the head thing. Cute, cute. Cute. Like to go from like emoji to actual. What a fun and creative concept, lyrically, and to bring this, uh, her favorite drinking game. It's, it's genius, y'all. Why am I thinking that that is a callback to one of Bruno Mars' songs? I like it. That's how I like it. Dun dun. It's been a while since I heard that. I'll figure it out on my own, but let's go. It is, right? Okay, Bruno. Okay. Are you saying Korean gumbay gumbay? This part is so, so good. I love it so much, y'all. The song is so good. I can't wait to show my fiance the song. I love it. Oh, oh gosh. And them going together here. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, this is gonna be a new workout song for me for sure. The harmony! Okay, I'm being a freaking fool. My hair is messed up. I don't care. Ooh, the layers of the uh, vocals there. Oh man, what a catch up for this blink. We really went totally different genres here, y'all. What is this? What am I trying to do? Totally different genres, y'all. Is my hair? Oh my God, my bangs are split. I hate when it does that. But if, if that happens because I was up at tuning so hard, whatever. We went from angelic, sweet, I'm in love to, oh shit, I'm a bad bitch. I'm about to do a strut and pretend I'm Ginny. Then... Uh, put uh, put uh, and then learning reading shit that is such a creative and cute concept and for rose to do that at bruno mars just so fitting two arts i absolutely love just doing such a fun addicting song like this okay <laughs> tmi but my back is sweating i i got way too happy if y'all want to let me know how y'all felt about either songs moonlit floor or mantra or apatu that totally makes sense. I love how I was like, is it APT dot or is it apartment? And it's apartment, but it's apatu. That's really fun. So fun. It's so creative. Like lyrically creative. Nah, lyrically creative. But yeah, if y'all want to let me know how y'all felt about all three songs, let me know in the comments. I would love for y'all to know instead of just uh, hearing my own, you know, opinion about all three songs and me freaking out apatu. But anyway, if you checked out my kind of chaotic reaction here, of this uh, little mini Blackpink marathon of our girl Lisa, Jenny, and Rose, and soon we will have Jisoo. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for putting up with my tomfoolery. Anyway, I hope you have a great day, and until the next video coming up, peace. I would like to say an extra thanks to my Captain Jack Sparrows over on my Patreon for the extra support. You are the savviest. That's got to be the best part I've ever seen.